Today I'm going to show you how to uh, buy Aftershocks headphones from the site. Mm -hmm. You must uh, log in and register first. It just makes everything a whole lot easier. I'm using JAWS talking software, but any software will do this site. You can always do a control home and tab through every one of your options and get to where you want to go. There is a visually impaired link on here also uh, that will just give you a telephone number and you can order your product that way. So I'm going to uh, go ahead and bring up my links. So in your software, bring up your links. JAWS is insert F7. Links list dialog. Links list and I'm hitting my account. from my account enter and my enter. Account link. Log in dash after shots home now you have the option of returning customers and you have new customers. So we are going to go ahead and move through your options. Uh, I'm going to use E for my edit field. E. And forms mode had gone on, e. so I'm going to hit my PC cursor. Virtual PC cursor. And now I'm going to go ahead and move through my edit boxes. Password edit. Password. And so if I did a shift E, email address, colon, edit, there's e. your email address, and that is for returning customers. If you want to hear what this option is, you just up arrow. Email address, colon, table with two columns and three or blank. If you purchased from us before, please log in with your email address and password. Okay, and then just down arrow. Blank. Table with two column email address colon. And so I'm going to go ahead and tab to password. Tab email address colon edit e. Tab password edit. Type and tab to log in. Tab forgot your password. Lit tab btn underline login dot gift button. Now you can hit B for button and jump right to your login. After you do that, you do need to hit tab to jump to your to continue button. So I'm going to tab to continue. Tab out of table button slash btn underline continue visited link. And I'm going to hit enter, enter. for continue. After shocks home conduction headphones dash the ultimate snoop. So I'm going to bypass all the other words in this document. I'm going to jump to my edit boxes again. So I'm going to hit E. My email address is colon edit. And I'm going to go ahead and type my email. U R T E C. Edit your enter. And tab. Tab. Type it again. Colon type edit. Type it again. U R T E C A V I O O I S I A I O N. Your the quiz G A I L T O N. Tab again. Com tab tab password edit. Text. So I need to enter a password, so I'm going star, to go ahead star, and do star, that. Star, 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 tab, password, edit, type and text. You need to type it again. Star, 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 star. Tab. Star, 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 tab, checkbox checked. Now it says checkbox checked, and of course you won't know what that is until you down arrow. I wish to receive new product announcements from Aftershocks. So if you want that, up arrow. Checkbox checked. And you can either check that space, or checked. uncheck that just by hitting your space bar. So go ahead and tab to continue. Tab out of table, continue button. And enter. Enter. Log in dash after shock phone conduction headphones. Continue button. Email address colon edit here to vision the G. Now if you return to returning customers, go ahead <laughs> and re-enter that information. So I'm going to hit E. E. And it jumps into my forms e. mode. It doesn't always do that, so you can insert tab email address, colon, edit, here, the vision, the and find out where you text. are at. So I'm going to go ahead and tab, tab the password, password edit. Type in text. and I'm going to go ahead and type in my star, password star, 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 and log in. ETN underline login dot gift button notification requires. Now you're going to go to my account, and that's a table, so you can hit T for my table. Table with two columns and four rows. Column one. And row then you one, can just down order. arrow. And listen to your table. Link review orders, link change quantities, link change ship, link print okay. invoices. So after you do that, go ahead and just go to your uh, products. So you're going to go back to your links. I'm in JAWS, so I'm going to do insert F7. Links list dialog. Links list for products. E, privacy P, powered by P, products. And enter. enter. Products visited, link on mouse over, notification. Once you get into the products, the easiest way to do this is also use your link. So insert F7. Links list dialog. Links list view, home, 22. And I'm going to hit A for Aftershocks. Aftershocks Sport. Now Aftershock Sport is just an audio head form, headphone. If you actually want a, uh, a mic, uh, so you can use it with your phone, you get incredibly clear uh, sounding information and people do not even know you're using a mic on your headset. Uh, so I'm going to just go ahead and stay at Aftershocks Mobile with inline uh, mic and hit enter. Enter Aftershocks Mobile with a dash line mic visited link. Notific I need to add this to cart, so I'm going to hit B for button. Like button. Add to cart button. Add to cart button, and I'm going to go ahead and just enter. hit enter. Okay, and after you hit enter, you do have a very quiet box open that says added to cart. Uh, so the next part that you want to do is just go to view cart. So bring up your links, insert F7. Links list dialog. Links I'm going to hit view. V. Photos, v. View all customer review. V. View cart. And I'm going to view cart. Enter. 
New cart visited link. Notification required. And here's my cart. Result plus N. Do you want Internet Explorer? Button? Okay, so this is a table, so I'm going to hit T. Table with 12 columns and 10 rows. And column you can one, just down one, arrow. Item description, QTY. Each. QTY quantity total. each total. Button, so you have to remember this under. is in columns and rows. So I'm going to go ahead and move through. That's what I'm ordering. Edit one, type and so there's one. If you want to change the quantity, go ahead and hit your delete key and change that number right now and we'll recalculate down at the bottom. So you can continue to move through. And it tells you it's 69.95. Now, the next part is go ahead and hit your PC cursor and jump to your coupon code, and I'm going to get you a discount coupon code. Virtual PC cursor. I'm going to hit E. Coupon code, colon edit. There's the coupon code, and I'm enter. going to go coupon ahead and hit code, enter. Colon, edit. Now, I've already ordered a set, so as I type in. U R R dash R dash A B L E 1 2 1. Uh, so it is U dash R dash A B L E 121. And you can go ahead and tap to apply and enter. Now, it gives me a warning that says, I've already used this coupon. So for your first set, you can get a discount on it. I, of course, cannot get another discount on this. So I'm going to go ahead and hit B for button to recalculate. Apply coupon code button. Recalculate totals button. And I can hit my enter. Now, if you do not have your, your, your state and information like that, you do need to up arrow and fill that information in. Because I've already registered and logged in, that information is there for me. But you can up arrow. $77 and it tells you it's $77.95 uh, with shipping and handling. Total colon. Apply coupon code button. Edit. Type in edit. Edit. U dash R dash Able 121. And you get stuck in that edit box. So you do have to hit your uh, PC cursor again and jump out. Colon. The United States. Lock combo box shipping and handling. And there's your combo box. You could also, uh, you could have done a shift C to jump up into your combo box uh, going backwards from recalculate also. So now I'm going to go ahead and move through down to my returning customers. Uh, where I have my email address already, so I'm going to make sure I'm on my PC Virtual cursor PC and hit E. Coupon code, colon, email address, edit, your division at gmail .com. And it tells me that uh, my address is already in there, so I'm going to hit enter for forms edit, mode on and tap to my password. Add, password edit. And I'm going to go ahead stop, and type stop, stop, in my stop, stop, password stop. and hit enter. Do not tab to continue stop, stop, stop. because enter. there's a good chance that it button. won't work, but enter stop. right off of it will. So here's your billing information and your shipping information. And just hit C for your combo box to jump right into your combo box. Combo box, one of two. And uh, it says one of two, so that's going to be your billing information. So you're going to hit enter for forms enter, mode combo on. Box, notification required and you're going to down arrow to your saved billing address. And as soon as you get to your saved billing in, uh, information, then all of this information automatically pops in there. So now you can go ahead and tab through and listen to it. Add, remove selected link. Note add my saved shipping addresses colon combo box. Okay, my saved shipping response. address. Special now I have to warn you, uh, not all browsers work from immediately from my saved to my saved shipping. And you may need to tab all the way through your billing. Firefox actually takes you all the way through your billing information before you get to your shipping. So I'm just going to down arrow since I am in my shipping address. And it automatically goes in there. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to tab. Add, remove selected link. Add, first name, star, colon, edit. Add, now it pops back to your billing information. I'm in IE, Internet Explorer. So depending on your browser, this is going to work slightly differently. So just hit your tab keys and you will be able to move through every single field. Add, last name, star, colon, add, company, colon, edit, TH vision, notification. Now I'm just going to quickly response. tab through all of this because I already know all the information is, is correct. Tab, come tab. State tab, zip tab, phone tab, table, column two. And now I'm going through my shipping information, which is identical to my billing information. So if you need different information in there, you can get that. Table, copy billing to shipping. Link notification. Okay, so right there you could copy billing to shipping, but I already have that. Colon edit notification requires response. So date of purchase. I'm going to go ahead and just type in a date. Dash four. Dash one two. And hit tab. Well, tab. Place of purchase colon edit notification for N L I E. Purchase this online. online tab. Model purchase colon. And what did I purchase for, for mobile? Or mobile, and I purchased the mobile. So I purchased the model, so I'm going to continue to move. Tab out of table combo box shipping and handling dollar eight point. And the shipping and handling is already automatically the put in there. Tab. Recalculate shipping and tax link. You can recalculate if you've changed your combo box. Tab. Payment method star colon combo. Now, how are you going to pay? So you can down arrow. 
to make card. your selection. I'm going to do this by credit Tab. card. Card type colon combo box. Please Down arrow message. again. American Express. Tab. To my option. Number, colon, edit, type and, and you can type in your number there. Now with Firefox also, once you hit payment method, sometimes it jumps you right down to the comment box. If that is so, then just shift tab back up to your payment method because it's actually opening the option of your card number. So type in your card name number, on card, cold, name on card, and, combo and all these combo month, boxes, choose month, tab, choose combo year, tab, is all you have to do, down, do is down arrow through that. Now, click here for help. It's not actually telling you what you need to do there, so just up arrow, Land, security code, and it's your security code. So any place that you need more information, all you have to do is up arrow through it and then back down arrow Land, click, click here for help. to edit, your edit text. box. Continue Add, to tab. Now, of course, it tells you checkbox check, and you have no idea what that is, so down arrow. Table end. Land. Land. Order comments colon. Land. Land. Table end. Checkbox checked. So there's a checkbox checked, and I have even tried to down arrow, and it will not uh, tell me that information. So it's keep my payment method on the file, easy checkout for future orders. I could try to wrap my cursor. Root JAWS to virtual PC. And then I can go ahead and right arrow. Space, 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 K. And you're going to have to e, e, e. spell it out in your head. A -M -Y, space, e -A -Y -M -E -N -E. Okay, so you can write your cursor that way in order to get that information. Uh, I do not want to have that uh, information kept, so I'm going to hit my PC cursor again. Virtual PC cursor. I'm going to insert tab to listen to where I'm at. Checkbox check. And I'm going to hit my space bar and uncheck that. I'm going to continue to tab. Out of table, edit, type in text. And edit, and that is up arrow. Left fair enough, order comments. Colon. That's order comments. So I'm going to down arrow. Left fair enough, land. I don't have any comments. So I'm going to continue to tab. tab. Edit. Tab. Click the submit your order button. Click to submit your order, and right there you place your order, and your order has been placed. So that is how you order your own set of aftershocks, uh, bone conduction headsets. Uh, they are fantastic.